What happens when you change the runner length on a carbon PTR intake manifold from Performance Design? Well, let's find out. Hello, Armored Holder, and quick, take a look at this intake manifold. That's right, it's got all good things. It has carbon fibery goodness. It has a removable lid. It has adjustable runners. And of course, we're talking about the carbon PTR from the guys at Performance Design. And as we know, all of my favorite intake manifolds have adjustable runners. And the reason that I like this, when we're on the dyno, we can adjust the runner length, tune the power curve to have it make power where you want. Let's check out our 5.3 liter. BTR cam, trick flow heads, BTR springs, long tube headers, and a Holly HP. First step was to install the Performance Design lower intake. It dropped right in place. Check out the adjustable runners and radius air horns. The lower was tightened in place. Next, scan the fuel rail, install the fuel fittings, I hooked up the rear fuel fitting and fuel line. Now it's time to install the carbon fiber lid. A dedicated O-ring ensured a leak-free seal. Next, I installed the mounting hardware and snugged it all in place. The intake was run with a 105 millimeter Holley throttle body. The fuel rail crossover. Finally, the injector clips. Easy plug in to all the injectors. Now the carbon PTR was ready to rock. With the intake installed, let's see how she runs. Okay guys, let's jump right in and get the results of our first test on our carbon PTR intake manifold on our 5.3 liter. So we got an L33, the BTR Stage 4 LS3 cam, the ported BTR ported trick flow 220 heads and then we ran this carbon ptr intake manifold on it with the and i do air quotes here the longest of the runners or or, or stack assemblies that they had available to them we started off with that and then after i showed the results here we'll jump in we'll do a swap to the shorter runners and then run that and we can compare both of them here's what happened when we ran our carbon ptr intake manifold with the long runners it sounded awesome and there, <laughs> there's nothing like a high rpm deal we ran this thing out to 73 or 7400 this thing made 527 horsepower peak torque checked in at 434 foot pounds of torque it was above 400 foot pounds of torque all the way down here at like 44 4300 rpm carried that all the way out to 6900 rpm so a fairly broad torque curve the intake manifold is kind of doing what it's supposed to and even though this was the longest of the runners that they had we're still making peak power out here at 72 or 7300 rpm so even the longs are kind of short but that's the results from our long runners now let's go ahead and swap in the short runners and find out how they do
I'm all, I'm all wrapped up in my earmuffs. All right, let's see what the short runner has to offer. Okay, here it is, the moment of truth. We're gonna compare our short runners to our long runners, even though we didn't change the runner length very dramatically here, but we changed it enough that we definitely saw a change in power output. This is with the longer runners where, that I showed you previously, where we made 527 horsepower and 434 foot-pounds of torque. Here's what happened when we put the exchange, the short runner manifold. It did indeed make more peak power and also seemed to want to rev out a little bit higher. We ran that one all the way out to 7,500, where the thing made 538 horsepower. So we were up, what, 10, 11 horsepower. And uh, we see that on the short runner, the short runner improved power from about 5,700 on up, not by a lot, by five or six horsepower here at the, in the 6,000 RPM range. Then they kind of merged back together about 6,400, and then they widened out a little bit. This, these are the sine wave things that are happening. Take a look at this area right here from 5,000 to 5,600. The short runner dropped a lot of torque there. In fact, we went from... 415 foot pounds to 432 foot pounds, so 16, 17 foot pounds change right there in the middle. The thing that I find interesting is down below that, below 5,000 RPM, 4,900 and below, we didn't see a big shift in torque output, despite the fact that we changed the runner length, again, not by very much, but we did change the runner length and the shorter runner didn't seem to, to lose low speed power as dramatically as we normally see. But when we do these tests, normally we have a bigger change in runner length. But it does go to show you if you're running, if you want to run high RPM, having the adjustable runners obviously is going to help you make more power on the big end if you short the runner of your carbon PTR intake manifold. And by the way, we ran this test on a 5.3 liter, albeit a pretty good one. But this intake manifold probably would be more at home maybe on a bigger combination it was cer certainly support more airflow and more power armature holder please make sure like share subscribe ring the bell do all that stuff and i'll keep testing